filled with frogs. He is sitting in a Where? In your house. Where? In your beds. When you sleep, guess what is touching your frog? That is what the Bible said. When you put on the shoes, frog inside the shoes. When you busy frying your taking and guess what comes into the pot? It says even in the ovens. When the oven burns and these frogs will not be fried because they are there to torture you. If you get into the cups, you sit on the cups, there's frogs. If you come and hug somebody between you and the person, frogs. If you open your mouth, somebody in a frog. But all I'm trying to, all I'm trying to say is that this is, this was the situation. God had control. He said, yes, frogs are only needed in the river, in the ponds and in the streams. But if you refuse to let my people go, I will punish you with frogs. Hallelujah. Amen. Let's do the name of the Lord. Amen. Do you know that believers and unbelievers, they can experience frogs? Yeah. But the whole purpose is for God to teach both believers and unbelievers that we need to be obedient people. Yes. If we don't listen, we open ourselves to any form of torture. Even we will, we will be affected by things that are not even our concern. Hallelujah. Amen. But guess what? These folks are educated. They don't touch God's people. They are in the same area, in the same place. They go to the same shops. But frogs go to the people that are against God's will.